Whispers of Goodnight Moon. Today we have a book named Whispers of Goodnight Moon, short stories for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In a cozy little room bathed in the soft glow of moonlight, a little bunny named Mia lay in her bed. Mia's room was adorned with all sorts of treasures, a red balloon, a picture of three little bears sitting on chairs, and a bowl full of mush. But the most treasured of all was the sight outside her window the enchanting night sky, and the comforting presence of the moon. As the evening descended, Mia's room seemed to come alive with a gentle magic. The walls whispered stories of the day, the toys blinked their eyes in acknowledgement, and even the air held a sense of tranquility. Mia's eyes were heavy, but her heart was awake, captivated by the serene beauty of her surroundings. Mia's gaze turned to the night sky where the moon hung like a luminous lantern. It bathed her room in a soothing silver light, casting playful shadows that danced across the walls. The stars above twinkled like distant friends, winking at Mia as if sharing their secrets. Good night, room, good night, moon, Mia whispered softly, her voice a gentle lullaby to the world around her. With each whispered farewell, Mia felt a wave of warmth and comfort wash over her. She closed her eyes, allowing the melody of the night to cradle her into dreams. As Mia drifted into slumber, her imagination took flight. She found herself in a dreamscape where the room transformed into a wonderland of possibilities. The red balloon she loved so much carried her through the sky brushing against the stars as they soared higher and higher. Mia giggled with delight, feeling weightless and free. Next, Mia discovered herself in the picture of the three little bears sitting on chairs. The chairs turned into magical thrones, and Mia was the queen of her own kingdom. The bears were her loyal subjects, and together they danced and celebrated under the shimmering moonlight. Mia's journey continued, taking her to the bowl of mush that now transformed into a magical feast. The food was unlike anything she had ever tasted, each bite filling her with a sense of joy and contentment. Mia laughed as she shared her meal with imaginary friends, the room filled with laughter that seemed to echo across the stars. But as the night wore on, Mia's adventures began to slow down. The dreamscape gently faded, and Mia found herself back in her cozy room. The red balloon gently settled on the ground, the chairs returned to their places, and the bowl of mush was once again just a bowl. With a sleepy smile, Mia looked out of her window. The moon still shone, a silent guardian of the night. Good night, moon, she whispered, her voice a soft promise of restful slumber. Mia snuggled deeper into her bed, her dreams carrying her to far-off lands and magical places. And so, as the moon continued its watchful vigil, Mia journeyed through dreams that were as enchanting as the night itself. In the morning, when the first rays of sunlight peeked through the curtains, Mia awoke with a heart full of wonder and a smile that carried the whispers of the goodnight moon. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.